Good day, everyone. We are the group three. Today, we are going to have our session on readings on history, talking about the declaration of the Philippine independence from the hands of the Spanish Spaniards from the Spanish governments. So for this time, we are going to talk about the proclamation of the independence of the Filipino people. A lot of things to be talked about on how we regain our liberty from the hands of our colonizers. We have a different colonizers and different time from the Spanish colonization to the American colonization. For further information, our objective expected to evaluate the Philippine independence, discuss the criticism on the historical issues in the Declaration of Philippine Independence, cite the historical importance of the Declaration of Philippine Independence. According to Emilio Aguinaldo, the proclamation of independence was important when we saw that we Filipinos, we are already winning battles. He wanted to show the Spaniards and the Americans that we were an independent nation. Despite of his declaration, Mabini disagreed on what he proposed in declaring the Philippine independence, but Mabini said, he based his objection on the fact that it was important to recognize the government in such a manner as to convince the foreign powers of the competence and stability of the new government than to proclaim Philippine independence at such an early period. Aguinaldo, however, stood his ground and won. So today we are about to evaluate the Declaration of Philippine Independence. The Declaration of Philippine Independence was proclaimed on June 12 of year 1998 in Cavite, El Viejo, Philippines, which known as Cavite Cavite. At the balcony of General Emilio Aguinaldo's residence, the declaration was signed by 98 persons. Thousands of people from the provinces gathered in Cavite Cavite to witness a historic event. This declaration has a purpose to proclaim the sovereignty and independence of the Philippines from the colonial rule of the Spanish Empire. The Declaration of Philippine Independence is a government-issued document. The purpose of this document is to remind us and the world that the Philippines declared independence from the colonists. The declaration included the list of grievances against the Spanish government. Stretching back to explore Ferdinand Magellan's arrival in 1521, this document is important in our whole country because it serves us as the proof of being independent of our country from the colonists. This document summarizes and expresses all the events happened during the conquest by the colonists in 300 years. August 1896, thus the Philippine Revolution of 1896 was born. What was the Philippine Revolution of 1896? What were the causes behind it? The Philippine Revolution 1896 was the first national arm fighting for our independence Unlike the People Power Revolution in 1896, the Philippine Revolution was very bloody in long. Also, the Filipinos in 1896 voted against a fire invader, um, the Spaniards. This revolution was more than a local revolt. Fighting happened all over the Philippines in Luzon, Visayas, Mindanao. The Philippine was the first Asian country to fight a revolution against Western colonies. Miguel Lopez was one of the reasons for the revolution when Miguel Lopez returned in Philippines for the purpose of his expedition again for his establishment of Manila as a city under Spanish colonialism. After Ferdinand Magellan, when he died in battle, when he was killed by Lapu Lapu or known as Chief. Kalipulaku. When Felipe II of Spain became a king, he ordered an expedition. The king appointed Miguel de Legazpi as the leader of the expedition to occupy the Philippines. 
in 1559, together of four priests Agostino and one of survivor in Loaiza expedition in 1521. So, when they arrived in the Philippines, Legaspi's group landed in February 1565 on an island near of Cebu. The reception of the natives was not good, which they are mistaken as an Portuguese. And so they were forced to look for necessities in the neighboring areas until they arrived in Bohol. There they were well received and on March 16, 1565, a treaty took place between Legaspi and Chief Sikatuna, one of the leaders in Bohol. This was followed by a treaty with Sigala, another leader in Bohol. Then, Legaspi went to Cebu, but the acceptance of the natives there, especially uh, the leader of Cebu was Chief Tupas, was not good. The battle began with Legaspi against the group of Chief Tupas. Later, after the group of Tupas was defeated in the battle, in June 1565, signed an agreement with Legaspi and the group of Chief Tupas, and they must recognize the power of Spain and the repl replacement will give them the protection from the Spaniards. Hearing of the riches of Manila, an expedition of 300 men headed by Martin de Goite left Cebu for Manila. 1569 Legaspi's group went to the Panay. Legaspi, also know about the prosperous community in Luzon, sent an expedition to Manila on 1570 led by Martin de Goite. On May 8, 1570, they reached Manila Bay and were welcomed by the natives and had a fourth group of Goite for a few weeks. Uh, Chief Matanda, Chief Suleiman, Chief Lacandula wanted to do of the Spanish uh, is to trade Center Manila for in the trading empire of China. But Dob in the purpose and motive Raha Suleiman with the goal is to seize the kingdom of Manila and collect tribute. In a few days, negotiations all ended in war, help of the Cebuanos brought by Guayte burned this by Raja Sulaiman, the kingdom of Manila, as a tactic that could no longer be exploited by the Spaniards, the equipment, wealth, and property owned by it on May 24, 1570. Then, a year ago, Legaspi and the forces from Mexico followed and declared the whole kingdom of Manila as warrior of Northern Magnela, Bambalito, or Aka Tariq Sulaiman did not agree, so it prepared his invasion. And of course, uh, Chief Sulaiman nagdadalawang isips um, kung kalabanin ba ang mga Espanyol dahil sa makabagong sandata tulad ng mga Kanyon na kung makaputok ay pakiwari nakakabaliw ang tunog at makasira ng isang bangka at meron pa silang helmet na hindi tatabla ng pana, palaso, sibat at meron pang baril na napakamabilis. However, Raha left immediately and to prepare for the invasion of Spaniards with the help of the soldiers he had gathered. The war took place on the Bangkusai Channel in Tondo, but they were defeated. Then Miguel Lopez, successful for their expedition, established of Manila as a city under Spanish colonialism. June 24, 1571, and he was dubbed the first governor with the title Adelantado ng Manila.
So with this historical precedence and because in international law, the prescription is established to legalize the vicious acquisition of private property, which is not recognized by the pacification proposed by Don Pedro A. Paterno together with Emilio Aguinaldo as President of the Republic. Established in Biak na Bato and it was accepted by Governor General Don Fernando Primo de Rivera under terms both written and oral. Don Pedro A. Paterno, who joined the propaganda movement by means of prolific pen, he wrote the first Filipino novel written in Tagalog Ninais, published in 1885, two years ahead of Dr. Jose Rizal's novel No Limitangere. His greatest contribution to the country was his role as mediator in the peace agreement between Spaniards and the Filipinos. Don Fernando Primo de Rivera, who temporarily suspended hostilities in the Philippine Revolution through negotiations with Don Emilio Aguinaldo in the Pact of Biak na Bato, and he acted briefly as Governor General of the Philippines. He also was the minister of the 20th Prime Minister of Spain for one day between 30th and 31st of December in 1874. Declaration of Philippine Independence Every year, the country commemorates the anniversary of the Philippine Independence proclaimed on June 12, 1898 in the province of Cavite. Indeed, such event is the significant turning point of the history of the country because it signal of the end of the 333 years of Spanish colonization. We all know that our countrymen was suffered during Spanish colonization because they encountered difficult governance such abuse of civil guards, unlawful shooting of prisoners, unequal protection, avarice and greed of clergy, unjust deportation and decision without proper hearing. I resolved to start a revolution in August 1896 in order to regain the independence and sovereignty of which the people had been deprived by Spain through Governor Miguel Lopez de Legazpi, who continuing the course followed by his predecessor by Ferdinand Magellan. To escape from the hands of Spaniards, our countrymen had a revolutionary action and established the Biak na Bato, whereas military groups had planned to fight the independence of our country, and it was led by Emilio Aguinaldo, the first president of the Philippines. He fought first against Spain and later against the United States for the independence and sovereignty. The military dispatched to the town of Cavite and other provinces like Bataan, Pampanga, Batangas, Bulacan, Laguna, and Morong. The group destroyed all the detachment of opponent. First was Naik and Indang remained surrender. Second, all detachment had been wiped out. Third, greater part of them are concentrated. Makabeb, Sixmuan, and Guagua. Fourth, town of Lipa. Fifth, the capital in Calumpit and the two remainings. The forces of President Emilio Aguinaldo besieged the respective capitals and the city of Manila as well as the provinces of Nueva Ecija, Tarlac, Pangasinan, La Union, Zambales, and some others in the Visayas where the independence of our country and the revindication of our sovereignty is assured. Next, to the rectitude of our intentions, the Supreme Judge of the Universe under the protection of our powerful and humanitarian the authoritative people of the Philippines declared solemnly that they had the right to be free, that they should cease to owe allegiance to the crown of Spain, that all political ties between them should be severed and repealed, and that they should have full power to wage war and peace, just like other free and independent states. All orders issued from the Supreme Court are recognized approved and ratified by us, same as Don Emilio Aguinaldo's dictatorship, which we are overthrowing as the nation's supreme leader, which is starting to take on a life of its own now, in the belief that he has been selected by God to be the instrument, in spite of his humble origin. As predicted by Dr. Don Jose Rizal in his magnificent verses that he composed in prison before he was hanged, he freed it from the yoke of Spanish domination and as a punishment for impunity that 
the government allowed to committing of abuse by officials and not for not fair hanging of result. Dr. Don Jose Borgas, Don Mariano Gomez, and Don Jacinto Zamora, our Filipino priest, was hung for these intrigues called religious corporations, who convinced the authorities that the military uprising at the fort of San Felipe in Cavite on the night of January 21, 1872, was instigated by those Filipino martyrs. All proceedings are on file with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs where they were sent last month by the year of issuance of the valid royal degree which in turn caused grow a tree of freedom in our dear land that is growing even more the evil proportions of oppressions. The spark of revolution broke out Kalaokan, spread to Santa Mesa, and continued running adjacent region of the province. The unequal heroism of its inhabitants fought a one-sided battle against superior forces of General Blanco and General Polaveja in three months, without proper arms nor ammunition except bolos, pointed bamboos, and arrows, powers necessary to enable him to discharge the duties of government including the prerogatives of granting pardon and amnesty. During 333 years, the Spaniard holds the Philippines and the reason behind is that the albidati, arrests and abuses of civil guards who caused death and connivance with an even under express orders of the superior officers. The proclamation of independence also invokes that the established republic would be lead under the dictatorship of Emilio Aguinaldo. On June 12, 1898, the freedom of the Filipino people in the Philippines. Don Abrocio Rianzares Bautista, Auditor of War and Special Commissioner appointed to proclaim and solemnize this act by the, by the dictatorial government of these Philippine islands and for the purposes only by the virtue of circular address by the eminent detector of the same Don Emilio Aguinaldo A. Fame. In July 4, 776, the 56th delegates officially signed the Declaration of Independence declaring themselves a new nation. A part of his nation is already free and independent as of this day. Our national anthem symbolizes each meaning. The white triangle signifying the distinctive emblem of famous society of the Katipunan, which means of its blood compact, inspired the masses to rise in revolution. The three stars signifying the three principal islands of this archipelago, Luzon, Mindanao, and Panay, where the revolutionary out movement started the sun representing the gigantic step made by the sun of the country along the path of progress civilization. The eight rays signifying the eight provinces, which is Manila, Cavite, Bulacan, Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, Laguna, and Batangas, which declares themselves in a state of war as soon as the first revolt was initiated. Don Emilio Aguinaldo returned in order to initiate a new revolution. Sooner, he had given the order to rise or pagbangon muli on 31st of last month and several towns rose in revolt on the 28th. So this movement spread like an electric spark through other towns which emphasized the triumph of his revolt thus was given much importance. For the continuation of topic, when we say independence, it includes using our flag freely and with pride and dignity. Philippine flag, designed and colored, found described in the drawing. White triangle, white triangle signifying the Christianity emblem of the famous society of the Katipunan men's blood compact the masses to rise in the revolution. The three star. The three star signify the three principal island of the of this archipelago Luzon, Visayas, and Panay 
where the revolution movement started. The sun. The sun represents the gigantic step made by the sun of the country along the path of progress and civilization. Eight rays. The eight rays signifies the eight province of the eight province Manila, Cavite, Bulacan, Pampanga, Nueva Ecija, Bataan, Laguna, and Batangas, which declares state of wars colors blue, red, and white, commemorating the flag of the USA. Our country was free and independent as of today, where we can see that as our generation was a big example or the remaining proof that Philippines was a free country and having its own law and own living, own living without any threat from the ambulators. That's all for today. Thank you and God bless. The dictatorship established by Don Emilio Aguinaldo, who was as the supreme head of this nation. The government was officially a dictatorship with Don Emilio Aguinaldo holding a title of a dictator. Emilio decided to return to the Philippines to help the American forces defeat the Spaniards, which is now we are already free by his help and to bring back the restoration of our beloved country. The Declaration of Independence is one of the most important milestones in Philippine history. Although our country was colonized in several times, but it ends up with succeed, which is our freedom. Dr. Don Jose Rizal in his magnificent verses which he composed in his prison cell. During Dr. Jose Rizal's imprisonment, he composed his magnificent verses before Rizal was convicted of sedation and sentenced to death. Rizal's ideals and teachings in relation to present conditions and situations in our society. The reason why we proclaim independence because our country was colonized by many nations for hundred years ago. We've been fighting for our freedom in exchanging the lives of our ancestors. To sum it all, we are crying for independence because we never even felt that we own our country. Here's the important reason. To raise cultural awareness of the Filipino people. Let us remind our people to be proud to be Filipinos once more. Let us instill in the team an understanding that being a Filipino means possessing a rich and great linguistic history. As any other nation on the planet, it has culture, patriotism, and heroic action. Romulo Carlos P. May this day deserve as opportunity to embrace Filipino ancestry culture and tradition in addition to celebrating our hard-won freedom. Our diverse tradition and culture from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao demonstrate that Filipino character is more than just bold and fearless. Filipinos are gifted and skilled in a wide range of fields. Since the 12th of June is honored to us a national holiday that would always uphold its value to commemorate for our country's fight for independence, it also honors the people who played great roles in order to give us this freedom and the land that we own along with the significant revelations of the truth behind its triumph. It can't be denied that there is a political bias that happened that was supposed to be just fair for the individuals and events that contributed in the success of the revolution. Most importantly in the proclamation of independence that was being stated that the Filipinos have already achieved independence and sovereignty that they were struggling and fighting for how many years. That's all for today. Thank you for listening and God bless us all.